Hello, hope uh, you're all having a great day today. Uh, it's another nice day out there. And uh, just, just again, I, I hope you're uh, making it through. You know, we're, we're uh, still waiting for election results. Uh, seems to be going one way, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's just the uncertainty, I think, that is uh, uh, at least causing me just to, well, I'll look to the Lord all the more. <laughs> I, I think there's, uh, you know, whenever we don't know, we don't know what's coming. We don't know, you know, anything. We, if we don't know what's around the next bend, we, we just, just worry and we let it uh, bother us. It's easy to let that happen. It's, it's sort of natural for us. We want to be in control of things and we want, we want to know and we want to know now. And it's a, uh, it's another thing altogether to be patient in the Lord, to just, just let things, uh, you know, happen as they happen and put our trust and our hope in him and, and realize he's, he's got this. It's, a, it's, it's all in his control. And I just thought again today, I would just share some more scripture, uh, another Psalm of David. Uh, there's, there's so many good ones and, and you may have a favorite and today's may be one of your favorites. It's, it's certainly one of mine. It's one of the more popular uh, Psalms, but uh, it just lets us know that the Lord is with us, that he is surrounding us. And he knows us. He, he is with us. He is for us, uh, that we can trust him, that, that even though, you know, we, there's a lot we don't know and a lot of tough things have happened in 2020 and, and there may be a lot of tough things yet to come. We, we are not assured of of really of anything in that way but but one thing we are assured of one thing we can we can know is that the lord will be present with us that he loves us that he cares for us that uh, uh it, it doesn't matter uh what happens uh, around us because we have the lord uh, we have his presence with us we have his strength to lead us and guide us we have his wisdom to know how to process things, to know how to live in this uh, this world, facing all that we face, and and we can have we can have His peace, we can have His joy and His love, and and it just changes everything about uh, you know <laughs> how we face uh, each day, how we face the days ahead, and so. Uh, I just thought I would share this with you just to let you know we probably won't have a devotional tomorrow uh, as we have Mary Howell's funeral services uh, uh, down in Boonville and uh, there'll be a lot going on tomorrow. So so probably won't have a devotional tomorrow. We will be, be uh, here at church for Saturday evening at 5 o'clock uh, as we have been and then Sunday morning at 1030. And uh, you can catch us online either on Facebook or YouTube as well. Uh, but uh, but for today, again, I just want to share this scripture with you. I won't do any commenting as we go through it because it uh, it speaks for itself and, and the Holy Spirit can speak to us uh, where we are. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we again, just, just recognizing the Lord is good and he loves us and he's going to take care of us uh, no matter what the future holds. So, so let's dig into this. Psalm 139 is the one, is the passage I want to share with you. And Again, like I said, I, I'm sure it's uh, uh, you know, one you're familiar with, these words, and yet they're, they're so good about how, again, how the Lord knows us and loves us, uh, and, and he'll take care of us. Verse 1, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your hand, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. 
the night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I, were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Well, let's let's pray together. Lord, I sort of imagine that uh, just about all of us have some anxious thoughts about all that's going on in our world uh, with so many struggles, so many things. You know, 2020 has just brought us, uh, well, just a very rough year, but, but none of this has come as a surprise to you. Uh, this election situation is not beyond uh, your knowing, beyond your your hand of, of control. Lord, you're still in control. You're still on the throne. And or we put it into your hands. And Lord, there, there may be anxious thoughts, but Lord, just know them. Know our hearts. Know that, yes, we have some anxious thoughts, but we love you. And we want um, we want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so, Lord, just... Continue to help us each day to follow you as best we can, to be as close to you. I mean, your presence is always there. Help us to be aware of your presence, to be aware that you will go before us and you go behind us and you're on each side of us. Your presence is always with us. And Lord, we, we can find comfort in that. We, we, you, you've known us from the before we were born, before we were even knit together. Uh, Lord, you have known us always, and you have loved us always. Lord, help us. Help us in these difficult days to just turn our eyes upon you, look full in your wonderful face, to just find all the peace and all the comfort and all the joy and just everything we need in these days. Uh, meet us here. Meet us wherever we are. Lord, help us. Lord, help those that are continuing to deal with the coronavirus. Lord, doctors, nurses, all those are on the front lines of it, Lord. All those dealing with it and help them, Lord, strengthen them, bring healing to them. Uh, be with those that are searching for solutions for this. And we just pray your blessing upon them. Lord, again, we lift up our nation to you. We pray that you would uh, continue to bring peace. Uh, we we need we need peace. We know division and uh, violence and all those things are not of you. And so, Lord, again, we just ask for, for your peace to be maintained. Uh, be with those that are counting ballots, continuing to count ballots. And, Lord, again, we just pray for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, Lord, help us if, if uh, uh, you know, if, if our candidate wins or if our candidate doesn't win. Lord, may we handle it with grace. May we handle it with, uh, uh, you know, with peace. And, and again, knowing uh, that you're in charge, you're in control, help us to just keep looking to you. Thank you, Lord. Continue to help us each and every day. Uh, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, thanks for watching again today. And again, uh, we'll, we'll not probably have a, have a devotional for tomorrow, but uh, you have a great day, and we'll uh, hope to see you this weekend. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.